Hi, you're listening to Kate Palmer. I thought we might just go through some really simple techniques with the starburst stains. All we need is some plain old tap water in a mister bottle, two or three different colours of starburst stains. I'm using Mountain Lavender Gold and Voodoo Violet Purple and White Cardstock. So I'm going to be working in a craft tray so that I don't make a big mess. I'm going to start with the palest colour first and that's the Mountain Lavender Gold. This is just creating a simple background. So all you need to do is just daub the paint directly onto the cardstock. Then starting with the second colour. Just doing the same thing, filling in all of that uh, white space. Don't want any of those little white spots showing through. Now that the background is dry, I'm going to stamp over it with the Moonlight White Brilliance ink pad. I've made sure that the background's nice and flat and it's completely dry. Then using this beautiful stamp from Stamping Up, I'm just going to apply ink quite thickly to the stamp and pop that directly onto my background. So press it down and here you have the first part of uh, decorating the background. For the next step I'm going to use some of these adhesive um, shapes called design adhesives. I've chosen the leaf design and all I've done is cut out part of the image and I'm going to stick that to one side of my background here. So you just peel off the backing paper and apply this directly to the coloured cardstock. Press down and burnish a little with your finger, just until you can see that that design has stuck to the background. So I've then just peeled off the cover layer and I'm just laying some gold foil over that. I often find that with really sparkly backgrounds, you either have to go one up on the sparkle so that it's easy to see, or go the complete opposite way and go something that's a matte finish. So just make sure all of those little adhesive spots are covered and you've got that gorgeous gold foiled design. Again, that was from Design Adhesives and they're from Clear Snap. For this next section, I'm using the little fairy stamp that I coloured in in a previous video. And I've masked it off using some Eclipse tape. And I'm just going to embellish around that with some other stamps. These hanging leaves and this small tree. Now I've just stamped those in the background. I've mixed some Bells of Island Magical Mica in a mini mister with some water. And I'm just going to apply that around the edges. As you can see, it's not really important to be specific with this. It looks a little white to me, so I'm just going to quickly spray directly over that masked image so it's a little bit greener. This will give me a nice sparkly background. Now it's really important to be careful when you're peeling off the mask you need to make sure that all of the residue from the mask is removed from the image so that it's not sticky. I won't bore you with this next part. I've just coloured some of the stamped images in the background with Prismacolor pencils very lightly. I'm just going to add a little bit of the purple hydrangea Versa Magic around the edge of the card to darken it. Literally just tapping this to the edge. Now, I don't want anything too overpowering, so I'm just going to use rock candy stickles. So just a tiny bit of clear stickles on the wings, so that when it dries they'll look a little bit more glass-like. I'm using one of the fabulous filigrees from Lindy's Stamp Gang here. It's one of the small swirl tree shapes. These come pre-cut and they have a lighter side 
and a coloured or darker side. Now the really nice thing is that the edges are already darkened. So you don't need to go and run back over those at all. So I'm just going to colour this in with Bells of Ireland Magical Micas. I've only partially mixed the micas so I get lovely chunks of colour. The colour in the Magical Micas is really strong so the green turned out a bit bright for me. So what I've done once it's dried is I've just patted over the top with the Moonlight White Brilliant Ink and then the Lime Pastel Chalk Ink. And what that has done is it's just toned down the colour of this embellishment a little bit but it's left these gorgeous chunks of the darker Magical Micas that you can see and that looks like my tree is textured. I've got this cute little metal embellishment from Making Memories but I really don't like the plain pewter colour on my card so I've gone over it with the Adirondack Dabber in Citrus and I've just sort of um, scraped the top across a piece of paper and you can see that the paint sticks in all of those um, lower areas. So after I've dried it with a heat gun, you'll actually have that paint as permanent. So you'll have a beautiful green word and a green edge to your metal embellishment. Now be really careful not to touch this because it'll be really hot. When I started layering this card together, there just wasn't really enough difference between the colours of the layers. So I'm adding a little bit of that green citrus Adirondack Dabber paint to the edges of my embellished base layer just so that when I pop it over my purple uh, background it's a little bit more defined. This is my card with all of the elements added to it. You can see you've got that gorgeous shimmery background and the foil leaves really make it stand out. You've got the beautiful shimmer from the Magical Micas in my fairy background and when you combine it with the stickles and then that flat colouring from the Copics, it looks really pretty. It's not too overpowering, I don't think. If I had any more sparkles on there, it might be. Then you can see I've got that gorgeous texture on my tree from the Magical Micas. Again, with the flat colour from those chalk inks, just makes it look really stand out so much better. When you put all of these together, I quite like the card. I hope you do too.